guys welcome to Shelby Wright Garage so the end of rally season is upon us and unfortunately the weather gods aren't being kind to us right now at the time of this filming we're told we've got about seven or eight days worth of rain and we have a car that we've got to get ready for the end of year rally and rally sprint so why don't we take a bit of a look at what we've got to deal with and what kind of damage we had last time out at Orange it's not too major but we do have to do it in the outdoors unfortunately so let's check it out the so death proof's not been driven for a while the tires have all gone flat not a big deal we run them pretty low anyhow down to around about 22 psi warm we've got some damaged wiring here for the stop tail lights the right hand exhaust has fatigued and come off so we're going to have to repair that we also need to address some of the fatigue cracks that are starting to occur in the body. It is essentially a floppy body. And we need to put some bracing in that goes from the roll cage to the frame. It will also help the driver's door from popping open. During rallying, it does pop open every once in a while and it's a bit frustrating. So we'll take care of that. So as we look in the engine bay, we'll also put some bracing from the roll bar to the radiator support. It is wobbling around a little bit. We do have a cracked radiator that reared its head last time, so we've got to take care of that. And we also want to address, whilst everything's apart, the alignment of this belt for the alternator, because it did come off and it cost us about 13 minutes. Outside of that, she's pretty well good to go. Just the usual act of servicing, checking fluids, that's about it. Uh, best we get started. Now have a closer look at this belt. Probably can't really see it on camera, but it is definitely crooked. Again, it may not be noticeable, but from this view, it's definitely sitting a bit far back on the alternator, and that will be why it's spitting belts every once in a while. You can also see that the vibrations have taken its toll on the radiator, which is why we need to support it a bit better. You can see both sides have come loose, and this is where we had to do our repairs last time on the run during the rally so we'll check that top tank over again and another view of that alternator belt definitely on the angle and our closer inspection reveals a broken bracket this start is broken loose you can actually see the movement that's occurring and that would be why we're spitting belts So guys, after sourcing a replacement bolt, when we actually shift the alternator forward where it's meant to be and line up, it will foul on this roll cage. So as an alternative, I've sourced a pulley that sits a bit further deeper for the bottom on the crankshaft. 
However, there's no viable alternative for the water pump pulley. And so as we sit this on in place, we can see from the passenger side of the car that we still got to go back. And the only way to do that is to do a bit of machining. So what we'll do is we'll turn this placer down on the lathe. Then we should be able to fit it all exactly how it should be. It turns out that we've had it wrong the whole time. And by correcting this, we'll probably also prevent that bolt from snapping in the future as well. So now guys we find out why we're called Shelby Right Garage instead of Always Right Garage. After turning this here piece down, we were ready to put our piece on and line it all up. Of course it was fouling because the diameter is a little bit big. We tried to machine it and didn't realise that it was pressed instead of cast. And this was our result. Not very bloody good, not very clever at all. However, coming to our rescue, we managed to call up our mate of mine who has his Toyota Salikas. This will fit beautifully, it's a smaller diameter, which means we need to do a far more aggressive turning down of this item and we should, again, be good to go. Now after a bit more machining we have our final product that fits up perfectly for alignment with the pulley like so. You can also see that when we put the straight edge up against the lower pulley it lines up perfectly with the alternator now. So we'll bang this on temporarily. We need to go to Ride Auto to buy a couple more of the correct size bolts and we're also going to have to readdress the alternator belt because that's likely to be a little bit smaller now as a result of the smaller pulley. Well as luck would have it guys it looks like we can get away with the same belt. We we'll just have to pick up some new bolts and that's it, new beauty. And now with our new bolts we can finally fit up our pulley Install our belt for the final time. And then tension it all up. And we call that mission accomplished. And that's how you turn a half hour job into a three day ordeal. Finally done. Righto guys, now that that ordeal is over with the alternator, time to move on to this radiator and the top tanks. We're going to use the wire brush, we're going to clean up the solder where these straps are, we're going to put the tank back together. Then of course we're going to deal underneath the inlet neck, that's where we had our leak from the radiator last time when we were rallying at Orange. We'll clean this all the way up, we'll probably use our strip disc for that, and we're going to re-solder the whole lot, use a bit of soapy water and test it from there. With any luck, that's all it takes, and we can pop this straight back in. That should take care of that for now. Up to 
the other side. That'll take care of number two. test the soapy water and there's our weep just on the right hand side there No more bubbles. We're good to go. Happy days. And it's now time to tackle this exhaust with a cheap and cheerful fix and get these pieces welded in. That sees us all sorted with our temporary and cheap exhaust repair. Happy days. It's now time to move on and brace up the body against the roll cage. We'll be using some pieces like so and welding them in place using nuts and bolts so we can always remove the cage at a later date. 
So we'll be doing some there against the dash. And we'll be doing some against the roll cage here. Racing taken care of, we can now sort out these outer fatigue cracks. and take care of that patina paint job. And with all the body braces taken care of, we can move on to the radiator support. However, before we can go too far, we need to rectify this fatigue crack. It's actually pulling out, and that is relocating the radiator, so we need to make sure that that's back in place. We'll use our ratchet strap, and then weld it together. And that's now closed up nicely, ready to weld. And so with our bracing up front, we've already fitted one to this side, but we've got one of these to go on each side there for the radiator support, which is gonna be welded to this bracket. That will then bolt onto the roll cage. That way in future, if we need to do any servicing, it's nice and easy to remove. That's all our new structural pieces sorted. Happy days. Time to make our repairs to the lights. Put some new wiring in. That's our wires all repaired, ready to go. Beautiful. Only two more things to go before scrutineering. This is one of them. And here we are, our new navigator's name. Brian was actually the first person to hop in the hot seat with Death Proof when it was first rallying and he hasn't hopped in it since. Now we've had a few different navigators including Ross who's hopped in over the years before Andrew took his final and permanent spot. Now Brian is going to take over for Andrew in the future but we're going to make sure that Andrew's name stays here because he's always going to have a spot there. Let's go and get scrutineered.
And that's us all done now, guys. We're ready for rallying. Scrutineering was not a drama. Now, at the time of filming, we don't know if we're actually gonna go ahead with any of these rallies. We're planning to do Oberon, where we crashed last year at the $1.50, and we're also planning to do Bathurst Rally Sprint. The problem is, because of all this rain, we don't know for the next couple of days whether we'll actually go ahead. A lot of the transport roads are washed out, apparently, so fingers crossed we do. If we don't go ahead, I'll put it down in the description so you guys will know why. If we don't go ahead, maybe we'll look at doing something, you know, like a test and tune day or something like that. So fingers crossed, the next two videos are going to be the Oberon Rally and the Bathurst Rally Sprint. Catch you next time, guys. Cheers. So we're going to start off with... Oh, son of a bitch. Get in the hole, you suck of crap. Finally. Oh, you suck. Crap! Oh, bitch. Fuck you, Rain. Get these pieces welded in. If the rain ever fucking stops, of course. Fuck's sake. Oh, helps if you connect to earth, moron. Oh. oh, fucking wonderful strap that is. You piece of shit. Son of a bitch.